Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at the 2016 Writers Guild Awards. Good to see you again. Red Carpet. I yes. Love it. New outfit, though. Yes, a little you different. From, I had to change between. Because you knew some people like me would have been on both and would see that you were wearing the same thing. Screen Actors Guild, if Image Awards. Yeah, every I week, a new thing. outfit. This is, uh, now I'm in Barbados. Well, you look good, though. Yeah, I was in Armani, so I tried to switch it up. I like it. I like it. It'll be J. Crew. Really? A little J. Crew. All right. So I'm going to be in red at the Oscars. Okay, I'll look for you yeah. in red. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about uh, WGA. You know, we've been talking this entire season about the end game, the awards and diversity. Why isn't anyone really going back to the drawing board and saying, you know, it starts with the writers, it starts with the studios when it comes to diversity? Oh, I think we are. That's what I've been saying every time someone asks me the question. It isn't really about this end game. You're absolutely right. It's about what films get made, what films get written, what films get directed, and eventually greenlit by the studios. Nothing is really going to change until that group of films change. It's not about how many get awards in the end. If you're not making the films, they don't get awards. It's very simple. So I've been challenging those people who are in the decision-making process to, to look at how they make those decisions. Are they really beating the bushes? Are they finding the best and the newest and the most underlooked or overlooked talent? What are they doing? Are they just picking the person who's easiest and right there closest to them? So that's what we've been saying over and over again. And I think it's beginning to have an effect. I'm feeling optimistic about 2017. As a film goer and as a film lover, I'm a little frustrated that not a single studio president has stood up and said, you know what, you're right. You are so right. I'm so glad you brought that up. I'm not only frustrated, I'm a little surprised that someone has said, you know what, this is what we're going to do. This is our plan. It's, you know, I don't expect someone to say we're going to put it in a quota system or something like that. But I expect someone to say we have a plan and this is how we're going to deal with it in our executive branches, in the films we choose. This is what we're going to do. But nobody has said that yet. But I'm waiting. I am too, because I feel like everyone has placed it upon the Academy, and, and Cheryl is doing everything she possibly can. I know she is working hard with all the other guilds, but I feel like, will someone please take a look at the studio? I agree, and her job is very, very difficult because she is at the end, and she also doesn't want to challenge the people who are her members, many of the studio heads at the same time, but the responsibility really does lie with them. For us, we're going into the negotiations here, so I can argue with them a little bit. I'm okay with that. And I would say, when you start doing better, when you start actually really creating a diverse slate, the way actually Universal Pictures is doing, they're one of those people who probably has the most diverse, diverse slate. When you're doing that, not only will you see more success, not only will you, you know, stop having me yell at you, but you'll find out that you're developing films that people really, really want to see. So do it. And you're making a great point. You know, we've we've seen Fast and Furious be tremendously successful. Confidence from Universal, yeah, so many. One of my favorites. Too. Uh -huh. And uh, you also look at what Shonda Rhimes is doing. You look at Orange Is the New Black doing. It's all happening very fluidly with those shows. That's why I wonder where the disconnect is. Yeah, I'm a little confused by it too. I think it's in the big profits and seeking the huge sort of tentpole Marvel Universe film, putting all your money in that because it delivers well in China has sort of blinded some of those people to what filmmaking really was about. It's about telling all kinds of stories, you know, and some of them are only a few million dollars, but, you know, have a great profit potential. So hopefully they'll turn to that. All right, I hope everyone listens to you and I, because we could just right. tell everyone in the industry. We have this whole thing right away. we got to figure it out. <laughs> All right, right thank now. you. Thanks for joining us. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and, of course, tell us what your favorite script of last year was in the comments below.